Hello and welcome. So today we are going to go through how to make these lithophane Christmas baubles. Here's a couple of examples that I've done in the past. Uh, some of cats, dogs, all sorts of babies, yeah, you name it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need our photo. So we're going to come over to... So today uh, I've got a customer that wants a, this photo here. It's a picture of a Shiba Inu dog. Alright, so first of all, we need to remove this background. So we're going to come over to this website here, fococlipping.com. It's a brilliant website. So basically, just open up the photo that we want on this website and it will literally remove the background. There is other websites like remove.bg, but this one here is free and it's HD, where remove.bg only gives you a low quality image. So perfect there you go it's automatically removed the background no problems sometimes in group photos it can make little mistakes so you can restore little bits with a brush if you just go through and restore what you want and then it will show up here so but that there's perfect for us so we're going to click download uh, PNG files fine download and we'll save it to our folder all right now we're going to need our um, moon background image so we come over to solar system scope.com and forward slash textures so this is where we can get our backgrounds so you can use I recommend using the moon background because it just works really well with the um, uh, baubles so here's our moon 2k image click download and right click save image as and save it to the same folder okay so if we come to this image now if we right click on the moon image go edit or open in paint there's our image perfect and then we go back to that folder and pick up our Shiba Inu dog. Click on edit on that one as well. And here, so then if we click con Control A to select door, Control C to copy, come back to our moon picture, which is here, Control V to paste, and there's our dog. What we need to do is get rid of this white background. So if we click down arrow and transparent selection, and now it's all gone. So we'll chuck our dog about there. That should about right and then we'll add some text to this the customer wants this so we'll change the color to white text it looks better on the gray background we want shib shiba to the oh, moon this customer is a crypto nut and this is what he wants all right now we save this image save as save it as shib just so you know okay now we need to come over to the lithophane maker website if we scroll down towards the globe maker click on this one and you just need to copy all of these settings over to here on this side so I'll, I'll la leave that there for a second so just pause it here copy these settings in so sphere diameter 60 just copy all this easy enough and this would be the perfect dimensions for the LED light cork light that I'll give you in the description all right once you've done that just make yeah minimize that one uh, choose your image so here's our one that we made earlier perfect so what we need to do click select uh, flip image so it's the right way around and fit image the sphere do not use the moon background because we've already got a moon but we also need to get this centered so we need to put on here one so it moves the image up perfect and then scroll down here to save STL let this load save that image and come over to the folder extract this just extract it here and we got our STL file open this one up in the preview just to see what it's going to look like it's good to do this sometimes because sometimes you can put the image too far down or too far up and it just don't look right at least we know it's centered that looks good all right so then what we need to do is drag this over to Kira I think that's center that looks good enough for me uh, this is the settings I'm using it's just what I've been using for years and it's worked great uh, 0.16 uh, wall count 99 this is usually your standard um, infill 99% temperature 210 because I'm using PLA plus uh, no supports but you make sure you use a brim just to give it that extra bit of support so we click slice all 
and it says 8 hours 10 minutes it'll be about 7 hours I think it takes and save that to your SD card and put it in your printer and print so if we look at the preview yes yeah, so you see that you've got the brim and that there will like basically hold it to the bed don't need any um, supports at all that would be perfect okay to save that one and print that one I'll see you back when it's